Hi everyone, it's Gemma, and I'm here with Adam Dalton Blake from um, Adam Dalton Blake Designs. Um, happy Friday! We are sending you live a quick interview with Adam because we were able to catch him right after his work day. <laughs> we we're like, you must come down and talk to us about this collection. So we've been waiting to talk to you actually for a while because we launched Adam for the um, Boston Stories Over Seasons pop up. So all of this stuff was in store in Boston with us a couple of weeks ago, actually. It already feels like another era. Oh. Um, but we're excited to actually have him come in and talk a little bit more about his collection, but also his background and his experience with the CSDA and the Life Water collaboration. So Adam, welcome. Yeah, thank you for having me. Yeah. So maybe you can start off by telling us a little bit about your background. I know you went to RISD. Mm -hmm. You grew up in Sudbury. Yeah. 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 So it was so crazy having so a... So fashion-y. I know, right? <laughs> it was crazy having a pop-up like on Newbury Street. Yeah. As a kid, I would go there all the time with like my mom and just like right. look in the window right. and all that stuff. Um, but yeah, so I grew up in Sudbury, Massachusetts. Which just is outside Boston. Exactly, like 35 minutes west of Boston. Yeah. Um, always wanted to be a painter. But I would always paint things that I would see in fashion magazines, just because right. they were so glamorous and so lovely, and there were so many fabrics and furs and textures and all that. Oh stuff. yeah. And so um, I had always sketched like little dresses in like the margins of my science notes nice. like, during school, um, but never thinking I could actually be a fashion designer. Always right. thinking just like it, art was painting, drawing, and sculpture. That yeah. Was it. Yeah. Um, so then I went to RISD uh, for what I thought was going to be painting, and I saw the senior thesis uh, collections when I was a freshman, and I like stomped down to uh, like the administrator and said I need to switch my major from painting to apparel or fashion because um, it was so inspiring. I was like I'm never going to have this opportunity again to learn this amazing craft right. with such history. And was that the first time you actually like? technically started like sewing mm -hmm. and first like pattern making first everything yeah i mean okay. I, I would sew like a bag or like a pillowcase yeah in, like like high school home economics right class, yeah um <laughs> with like dreams of crafting a dress but not knowing how to right so i was like this is the opportunity to learn how to construct clothing in a way that i've always yeah. wanted to but yeah. you were still able to pull in your kind of traditional formal arts background yes um, so Adam was actually asked to create some prints for Lifewater, mm -hmm. which this is one of. Yeah, so through, um, uh, when I was at college um, at RISD, um, when I graduated, I was lucky enough to be part of this group called CFDA Plus, which is a basically um, list of graduates that CFDA is keeping their eye on. Uh, for future collaborations or just to have a pulse on what's going to happen in fashion. And so uh, the CFDA contacted me with this amazing Life Water collaboration yeah. where they wanted uh, five of us to create a print uh, for uh, 40 million bottles <laughs> worldwide. <laughs> It's um, pretty exciting. It's that that remarkable. might be more than most magazines. I know, it's, <laughs> it's remarkable. It's been the best experience of my life so far. And um, yeah, so I pitched them a couple prints, and yeah. they gave me free range to to design any type of print I wanted. Yeah. They decided on this nice, colorful one. This is a great one. I love the faces. Yeah. It's kind of conceptual, and it actually, I read your designer spotlight, which mm -hmm. is also coming out, like, this, like, following week, and I noticed you said you always must draw in pen. Yes. Because pen requires you to make decisions, yes. right? Yes. I of? always draw in, oh, always do anything in pen, not pencil, because you can erase pencil, and with pen, you have to have an intention, and even if it's not, decisive. exactly, even if it's not yeah. the full thought, you get it down, if you don't like it, you move on to the next thing, but right. it's still there, and you still have it. I appreciate it. that. Yeah. That's, that's so cool. And so, you submitted these designs, you kind of got feedback, and then you were asked to create, like, an entire collection around mm -hmm. this to present at, at New York Fashion Week, which was awesome. Which was crazy. If you haven't seen the pictures, they're online. You should go and check them out. It was yeah intense. It was and really fun. <laughs> it was the biggest thing I've ever done. Yeah. Um. Yeah. It was crazy to like figure out how to meld um this like print design with a conceptual collection that is also sort of wearable, but also right. sort of me in it as like my first foray into like 
the high fashion right. in the world. <laughs> um, but that whole that whole like month leading up to it was ridiculous. It yes. Was, plus, um, you have a full time job. Plus, I have a full time job. That like you just started after you graduated. <laughs> yes. yes. Um, I'm when I'm wearing bonobos uh, tonight. <laughs> um, that's where I uh, work. I design and knit sweaters. Um, so having that and then design a collection for Fashion Week. Right. Busy, but all good busy. Yeah. yeah. So tell us, and I'm going to get ready to pull this yeah, up. Yeah, of course. Tell us a little bit about like this collection and then how you melded kind of the two the faces of mm-hmm. it. Yeah, so um, my collection is called 15 Love. It's uh, really inspired by uh, my dad's um, my dad's raising me in a tennis household. And I mean, look at him. He's absolutely adorable. <laughs> <laughs> I love the whole, mustache. Exactly. <laughs> the mustache, the visor, and the short shorts. Short shorts. Um, which um, it's winter right now, but in the summer I would definitely oh, be rocking. Definitely. Um, but it all became about this sort of idea that my dad back in the day and I now sort of dress in the same way. Right. Or you back in the day. Or back in the day. <laughs> How cute is that? Yeah, so that's my dad. And that's me with my little life water sunglasses on. Right. I love how you um, took the star sunglasses through. And also just, like, the idea of, like, faces. Yeah. Too. Yeah. So it was all about just, like, getting that familial nostalgia yeah. into a fun, a fun flirty collection for spring summer. Yeah, definitely. Um, and the other thing that I love, which I, I am so embarrassed I didn't get, like, immediately, is how much... These actually, you pick up the texture and the feel of oh, the, mm-hmm. the tennis ball. Yeah. Which took, I don't know why. I, I <laughs> At one point, we had some of your inspiration. Like, we had, literally had a picture of a tennis ball on the wall, and it was like right next to your shorts. And I was like, I don't yeah. think that yeah, was exactly. the exactly. fabric choice. Yeah, I wanted to create like a <laughs> physical tennis ball look. Yes, definitely. Um, yeah, and this whole collection was all about embracing textures. Like yeah. We have velvets, we have um, boiled wools, right. zebra so, fur. So cool. Yeah. And it was, as someone who hasn't pay, played tennis in a while, I guess it took me a little, <laughs> little bit of time, but I was like, I really appreciate that. And it's like, you know, it's not a subtle choice of fabric, but mm. it's a subtle enough like play to the, the tennis ball yeah. that I think that's, that's super cool. Um, yeah. So you've got this kind of, familial theme going on. Can you talk to us a little bit about what's coming up next for Adam Beltonwood? Yeah, so um, in my past collection, um, my, my uh, RISD thesis was inspired by yeah. my brother so and cool. his relationship with baseball. Yeah. This is my dad's uh, association with tennis, and I'm creating a new collection. How big with... is your family tree? <laughs> well, I'm Italian, and my, mom, my mom's side is from New Jersey, so there's a lot of us. Um, but uh, so my next collection is vaguely reminiscent of my mother, who is right. a very loud personality. New Jersey roots. Exactly. And so she said that when she is a grandmother, she wants to be called queen. And so I'm like, I'm taking that and going <laughs> with it. Yes. So it's sort of morphed into New Jersey Fran Drescher royalty, awesome. which if you've met my mother, is exactly her. Yes, definitely. <laughs> so it's sort of the same play on very... um. A lot of textures, a lot yeah. of um, volume, and interesting, just an interesting stuff. And how involved does your, or how much do you kind of allow your family to see as you're in process? Mm-hmm. Like, did your dad know he was going to be in a Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah I, I sent him the, the fabric oh, great. on it. Awesome. And he he thinks it's hilarious because he's so not in this fashion world. Yeah. He's, a, he's an environmental and tech engineer. Oh, cool. Um, so he, it's, it's so funny. He's a fashion icon now. Yeah. <laughs> would ever say those words. So um yeah, they're they get a real kick out of it. Yeah, definitely. So cool. And is your mom gonna be involved in the, the creative process? She just with you? might. <laughs> oh nice. So cool. Well, everyone, thank you, Adam, so much for stopping by nice and showing you. us everything. Um we are relaunching Adam's collection next week. So for those of you with us live, definitely come check it out. We're also launching a little designer spotlight, so you can go see some of Adam's tips and tricks, yes. and read a little bit more about his collection and his experience, and um, see some of the amazing pictures from the LifeWater CFDA collaboration, which are definitely worth checking out. <laughs> um, yes, wonderful.